What's up, guys, and welcome back to the number one Super Run podcast in the universe. Dude, the Super Bowl was crazy yesterday. I, I can't speak enough about that. I mean, we're going to have Vinny on in two days. We'll talk more we'll, about we'll it We'll talk more about it in next episode. But, yeah, uh, so many crazy things are happening. And uh, Oh, hey, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome on, bro. What's going on, guys? This is your second time on the show. I mean, you're our number one fan by far. You still yeah. are. The amount of support that you give us is like honestly um, too much in a sense. No, it's never. I like sh- I showed my girlfriend the episode of the upstairs. Yeah, and she's like, "Did you pay this guy to come on and like start talking about you guys?" <laughs> like she's convinced no, yeah. that we're on our payroll or something. What? Yeah. No, I uh, know it's a pleasure to be on. Uh, I mean, I think you guys do a great job. And uh, I remember I, I saw on your story because yeah. uh, Ruben and I met at orientation, um, and I saw that like this was becoming a thing, and I and I checked it out. I remember it was like two in the morning. It was one of those like. It's a weekend night. It's like three in the morning. You're just scrolling through whatever social media you're on. Yeah. And uh, I thought to myself, like, I really hope one day they ask me to be on. So I'm happy. Like, Yo, yeah. it's it, finally. Yeah. And it's good to have you on a, become yeah. a reality. on a prop episode, too. Yeah, so you're right. down here in the set. Yeah. Let's get into things. Dude, right? it's, it's, yeah. it's weird for someone to be like, Yo, I want to be on the illest podcast. I'm like, all right. Like, yeah, no, okay, genuinely, we got you like, on, I'm yeah. happy. Jason texted me last week. He's like, hey, you want to be on? I was like, yes. Oh, by the way, this is episode twenty-five, so this is a yeah. big, a big monumental a episode. Quarter of right. the way towards one hundred. Yeah, a big episode. Which one hundred reminds me, we're on the road to one hundred subscribers. We're currently, at the time of recording this, sitting at ninety-three subscribers. So if you're watching and you're not subscribed, subscribe because most of our videos now are getting about like a hundred views, and sometimes even over that. Seven so. of them are at a hundred. Yeah. There, there you go. Some of the yeah, and those are like some new episodes too. Yeah. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe to grow the fam. Yeah. Like, come on, man. Ian, come on. You gotta tell them to subscribe. Buy some merch too. Guys. Oh damn. <laughs> you figure it out. Yeah. That's what we'd like. Jason's to see. girlfriend. What's her name? Hudson. Hudson. This is not a plug. I'm not paid here. Fine, <laughs> fine quality. Beautiful, vibrant colors. Um, so many compliments when wearing this hoodie. Uh, buy some merch. Actually, Thank we, we you, actually got compliments uh, on our merch last week by some of our teachers. Oh, yeah? Like, yeah, I really like that design. I'm like, it's simplistic, you simplistic, know, hands-on yeah. aspect. Cool. Um, we're doing some redesigns, so Ooh. that might be becoming of the OG designs. Yeah, about that? Classical. Yeah. We're talking about hundreds of views and stuff, and that's kind of nothing. I checked out your YouTube channel. You, you're doing pretty well on your own. Oh, I, I so. appreciate that. Yeah, um, I really, I'm just not consistent, you know, like I kind of like, I, that's what I admire about you guys most. Like you guys, every single Monday, there's something coming up and sometimes even more than once yeah. a week too. Um, but I've just like, whenever I have time, I'll make something like once a month. Um, so it's tough to grow a channel that way. Um, yeah. But, but yeah, no, I, I definitely, I'm proud of some of the stuff that I've created. Um, and the, the views kind of reflect that, which is, re- which is really cool. Yeah. Tell us about like some of the work that you do. Yeah, so um, my, I guess my biggest responsibility right now is um, I'm kind of like the head videographer for the Marywood Cross Country and Track Team. Um, that's something that I'm super proud to say because um, like last year, we like none of the student athletes had access to the Instagram social media pages. Uh, whereas this year, it's, it's a bit different. We kind of have <clears throat> some more freedom. With uh, We have John Russo who kind of does the, the graphics. Um, and then I do the video work, which is really cool because those things get like 2,500 views. Mm-hmm. Uh, on the Instagram page. And then uh, that's kind of my main focus. And then my own personal YouTube channel, I kind of just make like a a longer episode so that we could look back on it um, yeah. in the future. Kind of like, like a vlog. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And those are like 10, 15 minute episodes, but they get like 200 views or so. But they're like, they take a long time to edit. So long. <laughs> like, I j- so what do you long. use to edit? DaVinci Resolve. Okay. Oh, I use that for a little bit too. It's the free version, it's right? It's the free of, version, yeah. yeah. I, I'm broke. I don't have it. <laughs> All my works. money goes yeah. right into camera gear. <laughs> that's fair enough. That's yeah. the way to do it too. I mean, like, if you can go free, then yeah. exactly. trust yeah. me, I've fallen into the trap of Adobe and it's. Le- it's sucking me dry. I, I, ju- I just switched over to Adobe last week. So yeah? it's like I started editing a video on Wednesday. I'm still editing it because I'm trying to get used Bro, to the it. The learning curve is so yeah. tough. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm used to it. Like if I have a three hours, I'm, I'm, I sit down. I have my, uh, I'm normally on Final Cut Pro. Video is done in right. probably probably two, hours, two and sure. a half hours. But with this, I'm like I'm days into it. And yeah. I'm like I have four minutes edited. <laughs> like I'm like right. damn okay. I think yeah. the more you use a specific thing, the quicker it becomes to no, do yeah, stuff on yeah. it. The so more like, you use it. Because I'm used to of the audio file being there all the time, just like detach it real exactly. quick. Let me just adjust it. Now it's like oh wait, I gotta scroll down to this layer, right. or that layer. Yeah, it's it's a lot. It's tough. No, but so like, one thing I gotta say is like I know it's hard to stay consistent, but mm-hmm. like 
try your best because I know I'm having that difficulty on my personal YouTube channel as well. So like with this, like it, it's so much easier to like, I guess, give away kind of like a little bit of creative control and let other people like edit it. Like I'm like I like we come up with the ideas. I come here and we, we create content mm -hmm. and then we pass the footage on to our editor or Jason and then, well, mostly Jason. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> our editor Jason is still goes working to work. on an episode. Yeah. <laughs> Got a little man cave. I'm just like <laughs> sitting there in the dark. It's a cool course. little man cave. <laughs> oh, I appreciate it. Yeah. 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 We had the crew over for, uh, yeah. we're hanging out one day. And oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah, last week. Yeah, and yeah. I've never seen a cat as large as size. <laughs> My the cat size is massive. huge. <laughs> size, uh, Jason's cat is huge. We're going to bring him on for an episode, I think. Yeah, just have Cy on have for Have to have him running around, yeah. Sai's friendly, so I think he would enjoy it. Yeah, if you be chill. Sai would just be like <laughs> chilling, like, what's up? Let me say hi to you. Let me say hi to you. Cats you. just do whatever the fuck they want because they don't care. <laughs> we gotta bleep that out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we gotta bleep. He'll hop on the mic, start talking. Yeah. yeah. Um, but no, yeah, staying consistent is really hard. Yeah, and nice sometimes stuff. giving away creative control helps. Yeah. Like, if I had an editor for my YouTube channel, I'm pretty sure, like, my things would go out much yeah, faster. Absolutely. Because yeah. now I'm, like, thinking about the shots and all that. I'm pretty sure right. you do that yep. as well. Gotta and you being a camera guy, you're like, damn, that shot wasn't good exactly. enough. I got I to get something else. Yeah, and the majority of the stuff I film is, like, just... It only happens once. It's not like, yeah. oh, okay, let's we have 30 minutes. Like, let's set this up. Let's get the lighting mm -hmm. right. Like, it's... Normally, I'm just filming track races. Um, so they only go by the camera once. If you screw up the focus, shot's ruined. If you screw up, you know, the, the lighting, like if it doesn't look right, yeah. the ISO's too low, um, th which is why I just I th throw it in auto any, <laughs> anymore these days. So I just let yeah. the camera do the work, which is, I know it's frowned upon, but um, genuinely I just throw in auto. I just kind of pan to the best of my ability. I try not to get too much camera shake. Um, and, you know, that's that. What, what got you into, like, the more film aspect of sports? Like, how, how did you get into, like, cameras and such as in yeah general. um so <clears throat> i feel like we all have something that the pandemic taught us and when school went out everybody you know we had loads of free time nobody had anything to do so i remember i was sitting in my bed two in the afternoon on a tuesday or something um just just scrolling through youtube and i, I stumbled upon casey neistat and i've mm. i've always heard the name because oh. like he's like the best guy oh, on he, youtube he's great yeah yeah and uh but i've never actually sat down and like watched him and i remember that day i might have watched like five hours straight of just casey neistat, casey neistat the next yeah. day seven hours straight next day 10 hours straight because it was the pandemic there was yeah. nothing else to do yeah i fell in love with the way he tells stories and um you know just the like the quality of his videos and the drone shots and like it what it revealed about new york city yeah. Um, and I, I don't know. I thought it was great. And I was See, like, that's I, why I need a drone. <laughs> I was like, I could probably do this. So, I mean, I had a little money saved up. I, I don't know why, but my thought process was let's buy a drone because I was, I was most mm -hmm. curious in that. So yeah. I was recording on my iPhone and uh, I had like a like a 2.7 K, not price wise, like 2.7, like video resolution. Yeah. K. Uh, drone and a DJI, DJI Mavic Mini. Oh, those are solid. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. I love them. They're great. Yeah, um, uh, the Mini 3 apparently is like a beast. Uh, that just came out. Yeah. Yeah, I was reading up on that, and it's like $600. Yeah. And which is not terrible. If you want like, the yeah. screen with it, I think it's about 700 Yeah. But, like, that, it, a lot of people are saying this competes with a lot of, like, $2,000, $3,000 yeah. drones, and I'm like, Dude. Crazy. So you started off with drone work then? Yeah, and it wasn't, like... That's cool. Yeah. It wasn't just, like, landscape stuff. I would... Like, make video montages, but I'd get, like, I don't know, maybe 30 seconds worth of drone clips throughout the video. Mm -hmm. um, and then just film everything else with my iPhone, which I don't know why I, I went drone. Like, in retrospect, I don't know why I went with drone first and, like, didn't get any camera gear. Yeah. Um, but then, you know, like, the whole process is very gradual. You kind of get into things, you know, as you, you, you dabble more with it. And, uh, like, a couple months later, I bought, like, my first camera. It was the, the Rebel T6i. Um, I soon realized that my iPhone was just about as good as the camera. Um, so I had that for like six months. Then I upgraded to what I have right now, which is the, the 90D. Um, and now I text Jason like once a week, like, hey, is this lens any good? And, uh, <laughs> Jason I, I, I do the same out. thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at Jason. I'm looking at this lens. Or I'm looking at this. <laughs> Though to be fair, everything you've sent me is good so far. So you yeah. got a good, good eye <laughs> yeah. on that aspect. Yeah. And it's, it's so tough to learn because there's not many people, you know, in the industry, for lack of a better word, like not many people are, are Sorry. into this hobby. So like yeah. the majority of the stuff is just me typing in Google or YouTube, like raw video footage of the Canon 90D or the yeah. the 70 to 200 millimeter f 1.2. Is like, and you just see like I don't know Peter McKinnon or a bunch of mm -hmm. other YouTubers do reviews on these things, and that's the basis of which I'm spending all my money on. Like I just yeah. watch these videos, I'm like yeah, looks good, <laughs> check out, check it, and yeah. then 
Or you could do what Jason does, is like just buy it and then return it if you don't like <laughs> yeah. it. I am notorious for like yeah. buying something and I'm like, oh, I don't like this so much, return it. Like the I amount of things <laughs> we've had on this set that Jason has bought and then two days later he just returns it. <laughs> it's just crazy. Use it once, return it. Yeah. yeah that's we actually had an R10. I bought, oh, yeah. a, I bought a camera for like yeah. two, 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 uh, two, shoots. two shoots and then, and then returned return it afterwards. It, yeah. There you go. And then I bought that exact <laughs> camera. Oh, yeah? yeah? Yeah, that's that one. Oh, um, right. But so, yeah, yeah, no, this hobby is just like, not many people are into it, so like, it's easy, yeah. honestly. Once you get like a feel for it, I think. Yeah. It's, right. it's tough, the barrier to entry is hard too because of how expensive yeah. everything is. Oh, yeah. yeah. But like at the same time, as you're mentioning, like a lot of phones these days are almost as good as like mid-level cameras. Yes. So you, you can get into it. cinematic mode on the, on the new iPhones? I haven't, no. But I, I've heard a lot of good things about no, it. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. And, like, the big, like, rack focus thing, I know that was a big yep. key for, like, the 13, I think. Yeah. And now the 14, too. Like, that's a big part of what makes actual cameras important yeah. is, like, the bokeh in the background. And but but I feel focus. like, I mean, it's fake. <clears throat> in a phone, it's It is, yeah. They're getting better at it, but sometimes you can tell. Yeah. yeah. Like, now that I'm using camera footage, it's just like, oh, this is just so much better. I, like, I, I, I'm, like, that was shot with an iPhone or that was shot with a Samsung. Yeah. Like, or like I could just tell it was shot with a phone and not like an actual camera. Yeah. But you could tell like you, there's an iPhone look to it, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah. They like their processing in there is really bad too. Like yeah. a big thing again is cameras is like their processing cores. They yeah. they put so much technology in there. Yeah. Whereas like an iPhone, it just looks like weird. And, we're like, the we're like are this stuff. is probably a thousand dollar phone with a <clears throat> decent camera, right? right? That this is a, a camera is a thousand dollar machine made for shooting and like. So it's it is shooting and recording. So it's like it's gonna do a much better job at it. So like if anyone's looking into this field, like what would you suggest? What would you guys suggest as like camera guys? One thing I want to say before I forget about it <coughs> is they say like the Samsungs have like a hundred megapixel cameras or whatever. Yeah. But you have to consider that the sensors are like this big. Yeah. So like a hundred megapixels doesn't matter. Like my camera has a sensor like. <laughs> like f 10 times the size, but right. it's, only, it's only 20 megapixels. Yeah, look how so small like, this is. Like, this is a tiny, like... The sensor, thing. yeah, the sensor's yeah, the, like... The new one's pinky. 200 megapixel, but I'm like, the sensor's the same size. Yeah, so, like, it, it does... From, like, phone to phone, it make, it matters. But, like, yeah. just because the, the megapixels is five yeah. times more on the phone than the camera, that doesn't really mean anything yeah. in yeah. retrospect. Recommendations, like, for, like, entry-level stuff? Yeah, Like, the M50 camera. is, like, a classic. Yeah. Well, I was going to go... Now, yeah. I, would not, never, I would not suggest the M50 oh, anymore. because the R50 I, came The out. R50s came, right, came <laughs> out. Yeah, so the R50s, uh, the new entry-level to the right. R-Line, yeah. which is the upgrade from the M50. I think it's an APS-C as well, like the yeah. other ones. And you could put R mounts on there. So we're all Canon guys. Yes. Yeah. Oh, screw it. Nikon. <laughs> I, I respect Sony, but yeah, nah, I respect can't, Sony. Can't I, Nikon. Nikon. I almost went with the Z30. Oh, yeah? Yeah. But then after looking at it and then talking to Jason, Jason was like, go with uh, the R10. Or yeah. uh, the other one I was looking at was actually the Sony ZV-E10. I know. That. Yeah, they're very similar. S Sony ZV-E10, Sony uh, 64, A6400. And the R10. I was yeah. looking at those, and then I realized with the ZVE10, there's no like, you can't. There's no what's that eye thing called? Eye tracker. Eye tracker. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I mean like where you put your eye to the camera. Oh, eyepiece. Oh uh, yeah. Th there you go. <laughs> okay, I don't know. There's no eyepiece to it, but like with some good lenses, you could do a lot. But yeah. then I realized I was like, I'm gonna be outside shooting a lot, so I've like. I've been doing a lot of sports photography recently for the Woodward, so it's like I'm glad I went with this and not that. And the 6400, I'm like, oh, it's good, but it's like four years old. Right. Can like Sony's gonna come out with a new thing, and this thing just came out like last summer, so I'm like, for sure, I'm good for a while. But like, yeah, the R50 is what I would recommend. It's about like yeah. 680 bucks. It's like the same as like a M50 Mark II, maybe a little more expensive, but. You get yeah. the longevity of it, where yeah, it's brand, brand new. new M50s. And, like, all of Canon's yeah. new lenses are going to be RF mounts. So, like, yeah. you, you get the benefit of being able to use all the new the stuff. New, yeah. yeah. Uh, and, like, I current like, w my camera right now that you're, using, that you're seeing me with has an EF lens. EF? EFS? Yeah, EF. Yeah, it has, has an EF lens on it. I have an adapter on there. Like, I bought a 30, for, uh, like, a $40 adapter. Was it 40 I think it was about like forty, fifty dollar adapter. It has autofocus and all that stuff, and I could use any like EF and EFS lens on it. The one thing I will say is like when you're getting into photography, videography, and whatnot, and cameras and lenses, the lens matters a lot more than the camera Absolutely. does. Yeah. That's one. Yep. That's one mistake that I made moving mm -hmm. yeah. when I first got into it. I had like I bought the M6 Mark II, which was like a like one step above the M50. It was yeah. Pretty good. But I was using old lenses on it that weren't good, mm. so like I didn't notice really any difference in the quality. Exactly. So like if yeah. you're gonna if you're gonna get a if you're gonna get into it, 
get a decent body and a good lens because that yeah. goes a lot further than like a good body and a decent lens. Yeah, so, like, what yeah. would you say about that? That's that's something that I just corrected last week. Oh, with right. your seventy two hundred, yeah. right? Yep. Yeah. Um, so I've been I've been in the game now for just about two years. Um, and just last week was the first time that I was like, all right, I'm going to get a big buy. Um, I bought the 70 to 200 F 2.8, um, from kids, the Mark two, Jason has the Mark three. Um, they're the same. Yeah. They're, they're so, pretty like, similar. close up shots with that. You zoom in. Like, but it's only 100. What? That's no, 200. 70 to 200. Oh, 200. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And with the ASPC, um, with yeah. the crop, uh, it's what? 200. It's 320 or so. Okay. Um, so so you're punched in there. Yeah, because yeah. I was using a 300, and yeah. with the crop, it's probably you're like more f- almost 500, probably. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> that's what I use for the lacrosse game because I'm so far out. Yeah, the field the field sports are tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but I guess to tie everything back together, <laughs> yeah. um, to, to the original question. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so COVID helped me fall in love with the process of video making and storytelling, um, and then so I have this new hobby that just emerged because of the pandemic. Mm-hmm. Um, and then all my other hobbies, which are just being outside, being in nature, playing sports, like hanging out with my friends. So I kind of just combine the two. Yeah. Um, so I'm not the, like the kind of guy to like bring the, the camera to like a hangout or something. But if we're doing something cool like cliff jumping or, um, you know, just going to a cool place like an abandoned, I don't know, building, um, I'll always bring the camera. Like, yeah. it, you know, you never know what you're going to – if you don't have the camera, you can't shoot something cool. So yeah. maybe I don't make anything of it or maybe something awesome happens. Cliff jumping? Um, yeah. Cliff jumping. <laughs> That Talk is my about it. <laughs> number one hobby ever. How do you, how'd you tell, how do you do yeah. that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, this kind of started also is, is from a young age. Um, just riding my bikes to like local swimming holes with my friends uh, with like little five, ten foot jumps. What's a re- swimming hole? Just like a natural body of water okay. that's deep enough that you could kind of jump into and okay. not get hurt. Yeah. Um, how do you find out that you jump? You just... Someone, well, someone goes yeah, in so pretty much and we'll you, see if they survive. Have, yeah. <laughs> no, we're a little safer than that. Um, so we have somebody just climb in. It's always me. My friends never do it. Huh. Um, it's always me. I climb in. I kind of just swim around, like, make sure that there's not, like, sharp objects or, like, dead trees that can impale us. Um, or make sure it's just deep enough, you know? Um, and then if, if, if we give it the thumbs up, just start sending it off, and it's a lot of fun. Those are my favorite videos to make. Um, I want to do that one day, but I don't know how to swim properly. Illus <laughs> tries. Illus tries cliff jumping. Well, before well, that, Illus tries Travis swimming. Is the best swimmer here. So. <laughs> I don't no, know, Dan. You were on I don't the know, swim Dan. team, yeah. <laughs> coming this summer, right? Oh, you were all oh, time actually, swimming. I was no, a swimmer. No, no, yeah. I'm, I, I forgot. Cam is a better swimmer than I am. Uh, but he's not here right now, so it doesn't count. I mean, Cam's probably sitting outside. <laughs> yeah, but that's um, wild though. That's, that, I, I've seen, have you done the gorge at Neog? That's my favorite spot in the whole world. That's like a big one that like uh, a lot of people yeah. hang out. Yeah, that's, that's so that's I'm a like, big drop. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm pretty. I wouldn't. I don't like. This sounds like it's like a weird brag. It's like not me bragging, but it's like a it's like a lame brag. It's like I'm pretty well versed in like the cliff jumping community. Well, that's not um, lame. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I feel weird saying it. No, that's cool. Um, but like I read up on articles all the time. Um, and every article that I've read um, regarding, like, East Coast cliff jumping, like, Florida all the way to Maine, everybody says Nayal Gorge is the number one spot. On the For East real? Yeah. Really? And no, it's right I didn't backyard. know that. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. Uh, it's just, like, the variety of jumps, how this is controversial, but how safe it, like, it really is, although people die there all the time. It has kind of a misconception behind it. Yeah, what is a misconception? Because um, yeah. I've always considered it to be, like, pretty dangerous. So, so. kind of what happens is every time I go there in the summer, there's, there's always people... Uh, smoking weed, getting drunk with their friends, partying. There's people that bring grills down there and like fry up, fry up some hot dogs and yeah. some hamburgers. Yeah. Uh, but like it's a big party spot. So what happens is, you know, it's getting to the end of the night. People had, you know, a couple, one too many beers. Um, they jump in. The water's, you know, a little bit more powerful than usual. Uh, and then, you know, unfortunately they, they drown because, you know, they're intoxicated and and then it reaches the news, and then the news is just like, oh, like, this place is so dangerous. Everybody's dying here. But in reality, like, there's been times we get to the gorge, we see that the water is super powerful because there's been, like, a lot of rainstorms. Um, we just go home because it's not worth it. Like, yeah. if, if the water is too strong and mm-hmm. you don't think you're going to be able to swim back out, then, like, come back another day. It's like it's not that big yeah. of a deal. It's not worth, you know, risking your life. Um, but when I when the conditions are ideal and everything is safe, it's such a safe spot because it's like they say it's bottomless. Obviously, it's not true, but it's got to be at least, you know, 30, 60 feet, oh, 60 geez. feet deep. They, they've Dang. had scuba yeah. teams go down. They haven't found the bottom. For real? Really? Yeah. But it, like the, the, the more you go down, the, the more dangerous it gets because the yeah. riptide and currents. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dude, so. riptides. 
Uh, no, they messed scared. with my head. That's yeah. so yeah. scary. Um, one time, I'm sorry. I'm getting scared. One, one, one time, like I was sixty I was, feet deep. Yeah, I was swimming in the ocean. I felt like a riptide pulling on me, yeah. and I was like, "Holy shit, I'm gonna die!" Yeah. Like, yeah. I was able to like, I was like, I was shallow enough I could stand and like push myself back and right. like just like the sheer panic for a moment. I was like, "Dude, <laughs> this is yeah. it." I'm sucked out. I'm dead. So just thinking about that, like being like underwater and having oh, a riptide touch hit you. That, so I'll, that's I'll tell scary. a story real quick. Okay. And I even have some footage if you guys want to throw it in. Oh. So uh, um, my parents have forbade me from going there. Like ever since I was a kid, my dad grew up like half a mile away from the park. Um, so he was there all the time as a kid. He said he's seen like, you know, classmates die there. Oh, um, and it's, you know, it's really tragic. So like growing up, he's like, you're, you're not allowed to swim there. And to this day, he doesn't know that I swim there, so. Well, I don't, well, don't let him watch well, this episode. Uh, don't watch this, Dad. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, so he forbade me from going there my whole life. And one day my friends and I were bored on a summer day, it's about three, four years ago. And it's like, let's go just watch like people jump off. Like, let's just go take pictures or like, go hiking around the park. Um, like, let's go make a day out of it. And the water was really, really strong. Like this, one of the strongest I've ever seen it. Oh, and oh, just... we were on like the lower, uh, the lower cliff, so it's like a little 20 foot drop. We were just watching people jump in and like struggle to get out. We're like, oh, look at these idiots. Like, their parents aren't telling them, like, don't come <laughs> here like mine are or something. Um, so, uh, there's the highest jump is called Killer. It's, it's 62 feet, um, depending on water levels, but it's a big one. And I had zero intention of jumping in that day. The water was super strong. My, my, my dad was already, you know, up my butt saying, hey, you're, you're not jumping in there if you're at the gorge. And I'm texting, I'm like, yeah, we're not even there. <laughs> um, but, uh, my friends are like, do you guys want to go like, look at the high, highest jump? Like, let's go see how tall like this monster really is. And we're like, okay, like, let's do it. So we crossed this little stream, um, maybe like 20 yards away from the waterfall, like, which is like the big outlet into the, the gorge itself. Um, and I lost my footing when crossing the stream. The, the current sucked me down. I like oh looked at my God. friends like, like, help, what do I do? Like, I'm trying to grab onto rocks to like stop the water from bringing me down. I shoot down the waterfall and like plunge right into the water. And I remember I like, I like regained consciousness. Like, okay, like I'm not dead yet. Like, cause I thought I was gonna land on rocks and die. And I was underneath <sighs> the water and I was just like, like, where am I? I don't like, I'm trying to swim up. I, I'm not swimming up cause the waterfall is just shoving water down and it just keeps pushing me down. I'm trying to swim up, but like water's coming down on my head. Oh, so I shit. can't swim up and I'm just like, I'm like freaking out cause it's been like eight, 10 seconds by now. I'm just like, like I'm running out of air. I, I gotta get up. Uh, I had my wallet in my pocket. I had like, cause I had, I was fully dressed. Um, like I had no intention. I've just it was a pure accident. I slipped in, um, and I, I remember seeing a video. It's like if you're ever stuck in like tough currents, like don't panic. Just swim laterally. So like don't swim up. Yeah. Don't swim like diagonally. Just swim laterally. So like, <clears throat> I thought of that advice. I I did that advice. I just swam like like this way, and I just popped right up. Oh my oh god! god. <laughs> what the? Dude, like, you're no. sitting here, and I was scared that like, yeah. you're, you're dead. No, I'll, I'll never forget that. And I was probably under for 15, 20 seconds or so. And oh my meanwhile, god. My, I had three friends up top, um, and all of them were just like scratching their heads, <laughs> like, "Is this kid gonna resurface?" That is only weird. one of my friends took off his shirt. He was gonna go in and save me. That is the other ones terrifying. Were just like, oh, yeah. You know, I don't kid. know how to swim so at that point I'd be like <laughs> Ruben's just done <laughs> I'm like you're nice knowing him he's, like, yeah. he's 60 feet under uh, at that point <laughs> but pretty much uh, that day kind of like was my intro to cliff jumping because after that I like I climbed back up the cliff like saw my friends I was like dude that was crazy you still did it after and then, and then I was like well we might as well do it now I'm already wet <laughs> what so like wait did your phone get destroyed uh I had a life proof on it uh, oh, okay. so, <laughs> so it was all good life proof um, sponsor yeah it's good it works <laughs> But yeah, this I would. This video is not sponsored, <laughs> so anyone knows. Um, I had no intention on ever swimming in the gorge ever because my dad told me these horror stories about it. And um, after that, I like I went through the hell that the gorge, you know, kind of offers. I made it out, and I was like, I can handle this now. Um, and from this day, you know, I've I've traveled kind of all up and down like Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York, just looking for some cool spots. Um, I even did the tallest jump at the gorge, killer. Uh, later that summer, which was pretty cool. Did that is yeah. um, And do you still agree that the gorge is number one? It's the best. At this, or? the best I've ever been to. It's it's not even close. It's so because there's such a variety of heights you can jump off. There's like a thirty footer, a sixty footer, a twenty footer, a forty five footer. Is like, there a five foot? <laughs> no, there's not five foot. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it starts at like fifteen or twenty feet. Um, 
That's just crazy, though. Dude, yeah. So you sh- shot off the waterfall. Yeah, I'm I like, shot I'm still wrapping my head around that. <laughs> I'll have to send you the video, and you can put it in. There's a video Wait, of, there's you, a of video you falling. No, no, no. Out. There's a. I like as soon as I resurfaced, I kind of like I took the camera and I was just pointing at like what happened, so I could explain to everybody I know because I was so like happy I, I was living. Yeah. Uh, but like I, my life flashed before my eyes. Like I thought I was gonna die. Like because I was trying to swim up, I was like running out of air, I was running out of energy, and like I was like I'm not going anywhere. Like I'm still yeah. underwater, and I was just like, how deep am I? And I was just like, wait. Like I felt the pressure of the water like coming down from the waterfall, and I was like, I'm I'm stuck, I can't do anything. So, I remember saw, seeing a video of some guy yeah. who said to swim ladder. See, I don't know how to swim. It worked. Do That's it. like it's like a movie moment where it's and like. And that when I realized, oh, this is it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to swim. Where Bane's like sees like his friends through the water. Yeah. He's like, goodbye, everyone. <laughs> Maybe we could do an Illus tries episode where we try swimming. <laughs> Just try swimming. Just period. try swimming. <laughs> we'll film Except you. Me and good. Jason and Cam already know how to swim. Well, you guys can pretend you don't know. Yeah. We'll put floaties on you. Yeah. Okay, I have an idea. Ian teaches us how to swim, <laughs> but we all have to pretend we don't know how to swim. Except I'm not pretending. <laughs> <laughs> how would me, Jason, Cam get pretend we're competitive swimmers? We'll figure it out. What I find wild. Oh, Cam was at the door. Speaking of that, what I find wild is that like you had that like near death experience, and then you continue to keep doing that afterwards. I feel like that would like. Yeah. yeah, flip the switch in my brain and be like, I'm not stepping anywhere and near water. I think that would be true yeah. for most people, but for some reason, it was just like a validity thing for me. It was just like, okay, I, I can handle this. And like, I remember I resurfaced and I was just like, I kind of like made me rethink life. Like, I could have just died right there at 16 years old, not having experienced, you know, what life has to offer and kind of living like on the edge of your seat, kind of, you know, testing the boundaries. And I, in that moment, like, as I'm hanging on the edge, like, wow, I'm, I'm not dead right now. I was like, there's yeah. so much more. Like, I don't, I'm not ready to go out just yet. Yeah. Um, and I kind of, that kind of, like, got me going down the wild side path. Were you, like, um, anything like that beforehand? Like, I mean, there's, like, glimpses and stuff. Like, I jump off, like, 10-foot cliffs. Like, whoa, wow, he's cool jumping <laughs> off. like a, <laughs> But, yeah. like, never anything, like, that extreme. And then that kind of, I've never kind of looked back since. I've, I've like, now I've incorporated, like, backflips and, and gainers and all different tricks into the jumps. Um it just adds like another dimension of like epicness. Dude, that's cool. <laughs> that is wild, absolutely yeah. wild. Yeah. I, I like I get on the like the five meter diving at uh-huh. the uh, in the pool. Five meters uh, pretty big. That's the yeah, that's like the step one, right? 16, 17 or so, yeah. So I'm like looking at that, I'm like, holy shit. Like I I, 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 I like I like just like feet, jump in man. straight down. Yeah. In, in, like, in like the pool here, you know. Yeah, no, um, I look at the eight footer and I'm like, nah, I'm good. Yeah, even like the normal diving boards is a bit high for me. Like we go off the blocks or swimming, which oh, right. is like three yeah. feet tall <laughs> so i don't know how you could possibly jump like because yeah. like I, i've been into the gorge many times before and like yeah. just like looking down at that i'm like absolutely yeah. no way there's no chance in my life i'm ever getting anywhere close to that so i don't know how that, that's yeah it's, it's definitely like looking at it um from like those those overlooks at like at the gorge uh like it definitely is a little daunting but like that's kind of the like the energy that i feed off of you know like it's weird to, to state it like that but like like there's nothing like standing on the top like kind of looking down at the water that you're about to jump in and like, cause there's always that probability of like, you might get hurt here. And like, that's the yeah. adrenaline that, that yeah. I crave. Like, that's what I'm all after. Yeah. And it's like, it's such a representation of what like summer is, at least for me. Yeah. Um, you know, cause I feel like school, like we're, it's so like mundane and like, we're, we're just stuck in the monotony of like, this is your routine. You have to go to these classes and like, you have to study for these exams. And I feel like I don't do anything fun. And then summer hits and you're just like, I have nothing to do. Like, let's yeah. go almost die. <laughs> You're a thrill seeker. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you know. But anyway, so we'll, we'll talk more about more interesting things after this break. And I mean, you started you started this trend of our guessing. We'll be right back. So you want right. to continue? Yeah. Go for it. We'll be right back. Hey guys, we're just taking this moment to talk about ninety one point seven VMFM Marywood's alternative radio station. Students DJ from ten a.m. until midnight, putting their twist on the music that broadcasts. Their categories include some classic artists like. Blink-182, Nirvana, and even David Bowie. They also have newer artists, such as Imagine Dragons, Daft Punk, and Arctic Monkeys. Tune in to 91.7 on the radio dial. Or find them online by searching 91.7 VMFM. Everybody, that's a nice sweater you got there. Yo, I, I really love that hoodie you have on. Yeah, thank you so much. I got it um, I got it somewhere, you know. Yeah. <laughs> One time or another. <laughs> One time. <laughs> I bought it for a couple and, and, bucks. And, uh, There's a name of a lake on the crest. In 2021 at Lake George. Yeah, yeah that was it's actually me. a cliff jumping spot. Oh, is <laughs> well, it really? Actually, yeah. have, have you been there? I'm going there this summer. Oh, shit. Yo, that's yeah. dope. That's like, I can't say that on camera. Uh, but, um, <laughs> um, <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. Nothing happened. Yeah, what nothing are you laughing happened. at? But, um, how, 
Are is there ever going to be a jump that you're afraid of? <clears throat> not one that I'll do. Normally, the jumps that I do, I'm not like that scared of. I mean, there's always like a a sense of fear, but like I'm not like uh, like it's not gonna like bring me from not doing it. I do draw a limit though. Like I don't think I'll ever go above eighty feet or so. Which people do. People go to like one twenty, and that's like oh, that's, that's too reckless for me. Yeah, yeah. that's so like. Now the gorge, the killer. You said, well, that's sixty Down feet. Down sixty, so I'd probably go yeah. up to maybe eighty. Double that, people are jumping off of. Oh yeah, yeah that's crazy. Oh, it's nuts. Oh my god. Like, do you remember last year when they had the zip line outside? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did the zip line, and I was so scared doing it. <laughs> I was like standing there, and I was like, "Fuck it!" And then I just like I was like, "Let's go!" And then I just like yeah. the first time it was so scary, and I was like. I'm doing it again. Yeah. I'm doing it again. But then the jump that they had on the first day of moving this year. Mm -hmm. I remember that. There was nothing connected. You just jumped off of like. (laughs) That was great. What was it, like 60 feet at least? (laughs) No, I think that was like 12. (laughs) (laughs) I was with you, too. No, it wasn't. It was a lot more. The library is probably like, what, like 40? The top of the library. I mean, it's. I'd say about, yeah, 40, 50. That sounds better. It was was really high. That was not 12. I swear. It was probably. It was less than 20. Yeah, that felt like a lot. <laughs> Yo, standing <laughs> at the like edge of that feet. was like <laughs> a difference. No, because I remember like the pad that they jumped on was bigger than me, and I'm about six. <sighs> okay, or we could put in a clip. I've got clips of that. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, mean, I did it too. I mean, that was pretty fun doing the. I, I, I got scared. Jump, so. I got I got scared of the jump. I didn't do <laughs> no, it. It's tough. It's. Is there I what? stood there and I was like, if there was something to hold on to, I would do it. Yeah. But like, oh, you I'm didn't just do like, it. I didn't do it. You went back down. Yeah. The walk of shame. The the jump. I did the walk of shame. Yeah. Is there like a bucket list jump that you were looking at like that? Yeah, um, um, it's called Havasupi Falls. It's in, I believe it's Utah. It's way oh, out west. Okay. It's, this Ooh. is like a couple years down the road. Like I, get, I gotta get my money up to make this happen. But uh, it's the most picturesque like landscape you'd ever, you'd ever imagine. It's like one of those things where like you hike out there a couple miles, you, yeah. you set up tents, you camp there for a weekend, uh, you just kind of cool off in like the 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 jump itself and then uh, you go back home but that's something that's really on my bucket list yeah. bucket list for my friends and I so it's more like the whole experience not exactly. just like the yeah. jump itself yeah yeah and that that's what thing is um like I don't think anybody goes cliff jumping just to like oh I want to get like this two point nine second thrill um, yeah, like sure. that's kind of like if if that's the case like people aren't making the you know the day trip commitment of like yeah. actually getting Cause it's it's tough because most of the spots are like they're hikes away like they're three miles, four miles, yeah. like, and, and s- most of the time, like, we're traveling an hour, an hour and a half, two hours just to get there. Yeah. Um, so, like, we're leaving real early. We're coming back real late. I mean, Lake George is, what, like, three yeah, and a half, that's, four, that's gonna, a, four hours away from here. That's going to be, like, a, a camping trip where yeah. we set up overnight. So is it wild that Neog is one of the best jumps and it's also, like, a five-minute like, walk? Right yeah. There. yeah. It's, it's the best. It's, like, that's so rare. Um, yeah. For that to happen. People are probably, like, envious of you, like, being, oh, yeah. being so close. <laughs> like, I remember, um, I'm not on TikTok anymore, but when I was on TikTok, uh, I used to make, like, just, like, best spots to cliff jump in Pennsylvania, like, those <laughs> yeah. type videos. And, like, they got, like, they, they're pulling, like, a quarter million views. For Damn. real? Yeah. You're, like, yeah. I used to watch those videos all the time. Are you serious? Oh, for real? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I don't know if it was your page or oh. not, but, like, I used to see the whole probably, Yeah, I'll, I'll show you. When I, all right, anyways, um, I was at the Gorge. Um, Ian's that, about to pick it up again. <laughs> I was I at the know. Gorge that summer, and I, like, met these kids. It was like, oh, like, where are you guys from? I'm like, oh, we're from, uh, like, West Virginia. And I was like, you came all the way here. Um, just a cliff jump. He's like, yeah, like this is one of the best spots. And I was like, how do you know that? And he's just like, I saw it on TikTok. And I was just like, pull up the TikTok. <laughs> You're at the and he's like, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> and like, that was one of the coolest moments. That is so I was cool. like, no freaking way. And they're like, they're coming from West Virginia and you're coming from like 10 minutes exactly. away. Yeah. Like, Where are you from? I'm like, yeah, 10 minutes down the road. <laughs> Speaking of Utah, I wouldn't mind moving out to Utah. Okay, what, what's this about? <laughs> I, I don't <laughs> know. Okay, what's in Utah. <laughs> okay, okay. Another Ohio situation. Yeah. No, no, no. I don't no. care about Utah that much. There's it's just nothing a random, in Ohio. Random Sorry, statement. Ross, but like, there's not much in Ohio. What's in? Yeah, oh, like the Grand Canyons in Utah. But like in Utah, it's I I didn't even know that. But it's well, like I don't know from if like I don't know if true or all not. the like the I guess Utah is becoming a new hub. Like if you really think about it, there's a bunch of YouTubers out there. It's beautiful scenery. Like yeah, I think the that's snow the and like you yeah. get some amazing like drone shots. It's like amazing places to go to like do shoots and stuff. I feel like Utah wouldn't be a bad place to move out to, and it's like not that far away from like Hollywood. I think the plane ticket would be probably like fifty bucks, maybe a hundred. Well, you're flying into LAX, so you're probably looking at a little more. I don't yeah. think the distance matters at that I'll point. Look at it right now. <laughs> yeah, go for it. I Pull don't it up. know of one YouTuber who lives in Utah, so I don't know what YouTubers he's talking about. I don't know, but I mean, yeah, like scenery-wise, it's a cool place. I don't know if I want to live in the desert though. It's like yeah, that's tough. 
Yeah. Walmart's 45 minutes away. <laughs> yeah. But um, so let's let's go double back a little bit. Thrill Seeker, and then you're doing the videography and filmography and stuff like that. That's not a word, but <laughs> I'm going with it. Um, but you don't do anything related to that for your major here. No. <laughs> How does? Yeah. <laughs> what's, so tell us about. Um, I guess growing up, I've always been intrigued by medicine, and that's kind of been like the thing that I've been drawn to most. Um, so when I committed, uh, like, I'm going to be pre-med, I'm going to try to be a doctor, um, I've kind of just never looked back. And then along the way, uh, videography has become, like, an increasingly large part of my life. Like, I'll have exams on, like, a Wednesday or something, but instead of studying for 10 hours over the weekend, I'm, I'm editing a video for 10 hours. It's about 170. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's, like... I'm having a harder time shutting down that urge of to edit because, like, I, I love editing. I, I think it's great. I mean, sometimes Dude, it's, like, so it's so much fun when you're in the role of things. Like You, you get so lost into it. Like, yeah. I'll be, like, okay, let me that's, go back. That's how it is. Let me go, okay, let me go back. Like, command Z now and let me do this again. Yeah. Like, but like, okay, let me zoom into it. Let me do one, like, millisecond before right. or after. It's so, like, so much. People don't understand, like, getting into that rhythm because my girlfriend always gets so mad because, like, mm -hmm. I'll text her be like, oh, like, I'm starting the video right now. So I'll put the phone down. I'll start editing. I, like... To me, it feels like 20 minutes. Like, all right, time to text her again. And she's just like, where were you? It's been three and a half hours. I'm <laughs> yeah. just like, what? Yeah. Um, so yesterday, uh, like, similar thing. My girlfriend sitting on my bed <laughs> do, doing, like, homework or whatever. I'm sitting on my desk. I'm, like, editing. I'm like, I'm like, oh, it's been, like, five minutes. She goes, you've been editing, like, straight, and you haven't said a word for, like, 30 minutes. <laughs> I'm like, it's only been five minutes. I didn't even edit that yeah. much. She goes, it's been, like, 30 minutes. You've been, like, dead quiet with headphones on. I'm like... Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like our girlfriend's suffering. Like Hudson watches me edit the podcast. Yeah, and she's like sitting there. Like I'm editing the same sentence like 15 times in a row. I'm, like going back and like cutting and stuff. And she's just like, I don't want to be here sitting. Like not right. in like a bad way, yeah. but just right. like listening to the same clip over exactly. and over and over again. As we kind of get it, used to it after a while. I know yeah. it was really annoying when I first started editing, and I'm just like, I right, go back, listen to that. <laughs> and then play. <laughs> I guess I should like, be happy. I don't have a girlfriend then. <laughs> <laughs> Good. But like yeah. I think things that Dane is thankful for not having a girlfriend. <laughs> You've watched most of the episodes, so I think you know. Like I was a physical therapy major going yeah. into high in, in college. Yeah. So like you kind of like went on the path that I was supposed to be on. So like right. props Very to similar. you because like that's I think that's as far as like smartness goes, it's good to have like a solid job and like a hobby yeah. of photography yeah. and stuff. That's like, and that's that's what it is for me. Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, I'm jealous of you because you're out there following your dream. Whereas like sometimes I'm in the classroom learning about killer T cells and lymph nodes. <laughs> and I don't give a shit. It's yeah, yeah. I mean, there is, the, yeah. It's like, like I want to go edit some people jump off cliffs and. Yeah. But there has to be like some sort of like medium where like you're like you create like, like I don't know, like documentaries about the hospital. I don't know what I'm talking about. Like, <laughs> no, yeah, like kind of combined video yeah, and like right. your knowledge of like. Um, yeah, yeah. It's, it's funny because like I've applied to a couple of internships this past uh, winter for mm -hmm. like um, like hospital hospital yeah. jobs like rotations and stuff, and. Uh, every time, like you read the application, it says we all we all we are also offering positions for like videography and like our media team, and I'm just like, oh, mm. so like, like maybe should I because should I apply for that too? Like go for I, it. I always have like the like the urge deep down, but yeah. um, I haven't applied. I'm just, I'm sticking with the pre med yeah. track. Probably make more doing pre med. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, to be I, honest, who, who knows? Maybe maybe if you buy the merch, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you if all buy the, buy the merch. <laughs> We could give Dan a sandwich that we promised him in episode two. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, I forgot about that one. Yeah. <laughs> we promised Dan a sandwich for every episode he helps us record. We haven't been able to feed in months now. Oh, we're way back. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were losing weight, Dan. I didn't, I didn't think about uh, that. Please buy the merch so we could give Dan a peanut butter jelly sandwich. I don't like peanut butter. Uh, please buy sandwich. the merch so we could give Dan a jelly sandwich. You like jelly? Okay, cool. I don't know. Actually, uh, just, just give Dan jelly. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's it's a joke. I'm no, just saying, is that? What? This is my twenty fourth episode, by the way. Well, oh, dude, twenty. We're twenty four sandwiches down, man. <laughs> <laughs> we need yeah, to give Dan twenty four sandwiches. The next episode will be my twenty fifth. Damn. See, we need more sandwiches. Like 80 hoodies. <laughs> People gotta start buying. People please, gotta start buying now. Please, we have one sale so far, and we lost 66 cents. Yeah. I, don't, I didn't know if I told you that. So, Wait, what? so the way oh, yeah. the way we priced them is they were so cheap, and then they added a bunch of like fees on top of that. So like you paid 30 bucks in like shipping, I think. Right. And then it, it came out to be that like our charge was like 66 cents more. 
So I paid for that hoodie at 66 cents. <laughs> I'll have to give you a couple no, quarters no, no, you're at fine. the end. Of no, we, we were looking at it, and, they, uh, and then he goes, oh, we got our first sale. He looks at it, he goes, wait, something's wrong. Wait, why did I pay 66 cents for Oh, no. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. But we changed the prices afterwards. Okay. No, yeah, we changed the prices right after that sale. All right, so they now just added like 65 hoodies you got to sell. The yeah. 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 But, yeah, so... That's I mean, my hoodie, technically. Oh. <laughs> okay. okay. 66 cents of it is... Right. <laughs> you get, like, this this cuff. This yeah, cuff, yeah. No, like, one <laughs> string off of it. <laughs> yeah. Ian just goes here. Just one string. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, <clears throat> but no, I feel like we should do, like, an illicit road trip and have Ian be the in charge oh. of it. <laughs> road, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right? into road trips and traveling, right? That'd be a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> he went, no. <laughs> I, I didn't say that. What do you... Oh. He went, no? What? <laughs> no, I'm down for road trips. Oh, I love road trips. Oh, oh, I am like I'm massive into traveling. I I, I, I yeah. wanted to always like get an RV and like go like have a trip. Yeah, yeah. I feel like that's everybody's dream just yeah. to Ooh. hang out with their friends. It, I, I got it because of Ben Ten. Yeah. Ben Ten. Do you guys watch Ben Ten growing I've, up? I used to a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah. Like Grandpa Max had his big RV and then yeah, Ben and, and Gwen would travel about. in it. Right. From that, it was just like it'd be so cool to just to get like an RV and just travel. Yeah. I want to go to all 50 states one day. It was like, we do a... Including yeah, 50, Ohio, apparently. The, uh, Podcasts in all 50 yeah, states. Yeah, should, oh, we, should we do a road trip to Ohio? Let's go to SGA. I asked for funding for <laughs> a road trip to Ohio. We can go visit the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. There At least go. there's something there. Have you been anywhere interesting? Tell, tell us about like your best... Is Ohio oh, interesting right. to you? What are your thoughts on Ohio? <laughs> what is with Ohio? <laughs> I just know that one's short. That's it. Oh, that's, no, all, okay. that's all there yeah, is. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Um, so I guess I haven't been... As far as the U.S. is concerned, I haven't been to many, like, that exciting places. Like, I've been to Florida, like, South mm-hmm. Carolina, North Carolina. Kind of just, I've never been out west. Just a bunch. I've probably been to every state on the East Coast. Oh, I'd sick. say. Okay. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Um, but, uh, like, from ages 11 to 15, uh, we used to go to the Caribbean every single summer, which was uh, awesome. Um, I just, I wish I was older when we did it because I didn't appreciate it back then. You know, like, I was just yeah. some some snotty kid going there and like, I just want to lay in the hotel and go swim in the hotel pool. Uh, yeah, yeah, where like the be- most beautiful ocean in the entire world is like yeah. 30 seconds away. Uh, and I, that really like pissed my parents off cause they were just like, like, why are we here if you guys just want to like eat the resort food, play foosball and go watch SpongeBob on TV. <laughs> like, let's go out and explore the island. And we're just like, no. Like, I just, yeah. yeah. So, no, no, I just, I, I didn't appreciate it then. I just, I wish we did it now. Um, but, it's kind of just, it's developing, like, this itch that yeah. I have internally to just, I just want to travel. Like, that's all I want to do right now. Um, so I've been out, because uh, I run cross-country and track, but I've been out the last six weeks or so with, with an injury. Um, mm-hmm. But I still go to every single meet just because I love, I love, like, we were at Traveling. Haverford two weeks ago. Um, we were in right. Boston two days ago. Oh, we were in Long Island as well. Like last yeah, week. Staten yeah. Island, you know. Oh, like, yeah, Staten yeah, Island. Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's been so cool just trying different restaurants and, uh, seeing different cultures in different cities. Um, like Boston, I was in Boston on Saturday. We just took a day trip there. A day trip to Boston? Yeah. From here? So we, was it we like left four at... four hour, four and a half hours? We, yeah, we left at... It was, yeah, four and a half. Uh, although we did it in like 3.45, so... Well, that's <laughs> I mean, fair man. enough. <laughs> Who drove? Uh, uh, his name's Brandon. He's on the, he's on the team. Um, but we, uh, yeah, we left at like 7 a.m. and we got back at 5 a.m. So, oh man! Yeah, I'm still recovering from it. No, I totally get that. We took a trip to Green Bay, yeah. um, my senior year of high school, and we we went from here to Detroit, and then Detroit to Green Bay, and then the trip back was just Green Bay to here. Oh my god! <laughs> it was like 16 straight hours of driving. Oh, that is terrible. <laughs> was, we left at like, we, so we were going for a Packers game. That's why we went, and it was the first time they ever got shut out at home since like the 70s or something. Oh, so you're at Lambeau? Yes. Wow. Yeah, it was in like December. That's it was over Christmas crazy. break. Oh, it was, so that's cold. It was wild. No, not really. <laughs> I was, was there for the experience, you know. Who is a Packers fan? Who, was um, your girlfriend? No, no one. We oh. just went. Oh, you and Hudson, though? What? You and your girlfriend? What about us? D- did you no, guys? Uh, no, he's oh, asking. No, oh, no. no. He went for a uh, it was, high school trip. It was a couple of friends oh, and I. Oh, I, I thought you said you t- Sorry, I thought you said you took her. This was like nah, back in high school. Oh, yeah, this was okay. like four, He's an old man. He's, he's yeah. about to graduate okay. now. Oh, I'm right. jaded, you know. But um, <laughs> he's about to graduate, and I'm older than him. <laughs> but it was just a couple of friends from high school. Okay. It was just oh, that's a awesome. guy's trip. But like, the ride back was insane. Yeah, I can um, Especially a bunch of teenagers in the car. Yeah, like I would. Sixteen hours. Is I, a bunch of like twenty year olds in the car. So that's that's still a lot. That's yeah. A lot yeah. I took the the drive from the Pennsylvania border back here. Okay. I started oh, wow. like two in the morning. Oh, I you like, guys had shifts. I essentially yeah we kind of <laughs> but like my job was to keep everyone awake so I was awake the entire time. Yeah. We left at like 7 p.m. We got home at like noon. Oh, oh my so just, gosh. Um, 
I like kind of teleported from like the border to here. I wasn't right. I wasn't conscious any of that. Time. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, <laughs> Yo, sometimes I, that happens. That's like, exactly what happened. Well, how yeah, did I end yeah, up yeah. here? So I, I like I was like I was driving, driving, and then I'm in a different spot, and I'm like, yep. oh, well, I'm glad we're still on the road. I guess. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, yeah, sorry, guys. I didn't tell anyone that, but I was, like, asleep. <laughs> wow. I was, like, pounding double shots from Starbucks. Yeah, we were yeah. just popping caffeine pills. Yeah. yeah. Caffeine <laughs> so you get it, man. Well, the longest trip I've done was it started around maybe 10 the day, 10, and we ended, like, 3 a.m. the next day. Oh, my gosh. So it was, like, we went from uh, Pennsylvania. We went um, all the way up to... Uh, Bridgeport, Connecticut, okay. to pick up my roommate. Wow! Uh, and then after that, we went to uh, we went an hour north to hang out with one of our friends because he couldn't come on the trip, but he wanted to hang out. Yeah. So we hung out with him for a couple of hours, and then after that, we travel uh, we travel like twenty minutes out to his house, chill there for a bit. After that, we traveled. Um, um, it was like uh, now it was like around. 9 p.m. We're like, okay, we got to start heading back now. The weather's going to get bad soon. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, we're traveling, and then we're trying to find a gas station. None of the the, just closed. (laughs) Everywhere, gas stations were closed. Finally found a gas station that was open. I put gas in there, and then we got lost somehow, like, while using a GPS. Ended up somewhere (laughs) in New Jersey. Oh, god. Went to a gas station. (laughs) Okay, they don't accept my card. I'm like, wait, why? And then go to, after three different gas stations, finally found a gas station that accepted my card, did that, put some gas in the car, and then continued our trip. And then after a while, it was like, uh, we were singing at the top of our lungs, <laughs> just like playing every song from our childhood, yeah. Yeah. playing any, like, so like yeah. it's three guys in a car. We've been in this car for about, like, a lot of hours, and we're just, like, <laughs> screaming at the top of our lungs, and then... We start dying down around, like, 1 a.m., and it's like, I'm like, all right, time to open up the monster. I crack (laughs) it open all yours. Like, the little steam from it that comes out, because you don't know what's in those monsters. And I go, ASMR here. You're like, yo, this is powerful. And then my my buddy takes it. He goes, (laughs) yeah, I think I'm awake. And then my other buddy goes, that's all right. It's kind of mid. We're like, you're awake now. He goes, yeah. So we're just chugging on yeah. Monster, and then we're just like They're so going. resourceful. Yeah. Energy drinks. Well, the weather got so bad by the time we got home. Everything was, like, flooded and, like, <laughs> sick. We're like, okay, let's go to sleep. Wow. Yeah, those day trips, they I'm pretty exhausting. much the only person who doesn't rely on caffeine. Uh, well, good for you, man. Yeah. yeah. You're better than all of us. I used to not, but it's it's impossible these days. I just can't wake up in the morning. <laughs> The only form of caffeine I go to is energy drink and pre-workout. Yeah. I don't drink coffee. Yeah. I don't like the taste of coffee. I'm just like, yeah. Uh, I like go back and forth. I have like this like powder stuff. It's like from yeah. berries. I don't know. <laughs> it might be a placebo. I don't know. There's like a picture of like a yeah. berry on the front. <laughs> this is very like a mixture between like oh, a guest episode and the boys only episode. Yeah. Like yeah. Like do, do you get the vibe? Yeah, we're just vibing. Yeah, we're fine. just vibing at this point. <laughs> sweet. Yeah. yeah. yeah we, we went off uh, a script a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Tell, yeah. Well, that's, that's like the that's the cool part about this though. Like, yeah. it's, it's not like we don't premeditate. Not we. You guys don't premeditate anything. It's like, we really don't. We have like ideas. Right. I think we have like ideas. a bullet point. We should we should really we talk right. a lot more and script these at least a little. No, bit. I, I think it's cool that it's so natural. Yeah, yeah. Like, conversational. It's not, yeah, yeah, it's not ingenuine. It's just whatever comes up comes up. And yeah. if people want to listen, they'll listen. So it's pretty cool. Yeah. I want to listen. Yeah. I yeah. love it. And recently, episodes have been doing really great. So yeah. thank you guys for showing all the support that you guys do. Um, and if if you could create your, I guess I'm not gonna go back to the camera stuff because I know that's a little nerdy. You guys, <laughs> you guys probably don't like it. If you guys could, if you could create your dream scenario in place for a cliff jump, what would it be? Dream scenario for a cliff jump. Like how high? What's the temperature like? Walk okay. us through it. Um, well, definitely just. A lot of nature. I think that's the best part about it. Mm -hmm. Um, A lot of places you'll go to are just covered in spray paint, which, I mean, sometimes it's cool. It's like, wow, like, they did a really nice job. And other times it's just F-words and, you know, Mm. like, really? Like, they're probably (laughs) 14-year-olds, like, thinking they're cool. And they just ruin spots because, like, most of them are so picturesque with, you know, different types of trees, different waterfalls, different, like, rocky landscapes and stuff. And and it's really beautiful. So I think it would definitely have a lot of nature. Mm -hmm. Just a variety of heights from, like, 20 feet all the way to okay. 75 feet. All in one location. Yeah. yeah. Just, like, different 
levels um and then obviously water that's safe and not <laughs> gonna kill me yeah. do you um, like work your way up then do you like oh, start yes. low and oh, then go i high? guess i should have mentioned that earlier uh, if, yeah. if people are listening to this and they're like i really want to start cliff jumping work your way up because <laughs> there's been a lot of times where i've brought friends that weren't experienced but like they'll watch me do something and they're just like okay like it's not simple enough they'll jump off and they'll land on their back and they're paralyzed underwater for 15 seconds oh my god and they're just like uh, uh, and like you get like the wind knocked out of you and you can't you breathe. don't want to land on your back no or your or stomach right? yeah <laughs> there's two spots you want to land those are on your feet or on your head but head is the last resort like you'd rather land like face first um than land on your stomach or back okay uh but yeah so i recommend do not going not going more than like start off with like five feet once you get comfortable with that, 10 feet. I'll do, I'll do a five-foot drop. Oh, yeah? Yeah. All right. Then, like, 5, 10, then 20, then, like, 30. M- then maybe I'll go to 10 and I'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stop at 10. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you'll, you'll get the adrenaline. You'll be going up. Except you still need to learn how to swim. Yeah, you oh, got to yeah. learn how to swim. We, we That's a key, key, key point. Unless you want to try yeah. one without water underneath. But I, oh, I, oh, I, oh. I don't <laughs> recommend that. <laughs> that. that. 70 foot drop is down. All right, guys. Well, you can do it once. Yeah. And then no more after that. That's about it. Unless it's like the the Marywood one that they had for us with the little oh no, I still wouldn't do it because air too, glob <laughs> I'd be too scared. <laughs> um, See, I feel like I would have done it if they were like, okay, we're starting at this height yeah, and then, then going. Like, oh, I would have right. gradually went up yeah. to the highest height, yeah. but it's just like up here and just yeah, like the things that you gotta. <laughs> yeah, you definitely gotta work your way yeah. up. And the yeah. dude remembered me because I was super scared when I did the zip line and I wanted to do it because I just wanted to. Oh, it's the point. same company. Yeah, um, and he and as soon as I got that, he was like, if you land on anything but your back, you're dead. I'm like. <laughs> what? That's dramatic, yeah. bro. I guess he's right. If you land on your neck, you're t- yeah, yeah. No, you're good because it's a cushion. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what. Oh, I was but if you're going from high, high enough up, I don't. Yeah, no, I, I don't know. Gonna... It, would, it would definitely hurt. There's no, there's no denying that. Well, like you gotta land on your feet, or you gotta land think, on your butt. Yeah, for the for the blob, you'd want to land on your butt yeah. or your back. But then some people were landing on their stomachs. They're like back. Yeah, fine, yeah I like, asked him if I could do tricks off, and he wouldn't. He wouldn't let me. Oh, really? Yeah. And then for the zip line, I'm a big Danny Duncan fan. And uh, every time, <laughs> every time Danny takes a zip line, he pretends to be like a corpse, like a. So like I, I said, like, hey, do you mind if like I don't hold on? And I just like, go like this and like let the thing take it. It looks so funny when like somebody just, just go down. Across. Yeah, and they're just like, <laughs> like they just look lifeless. And I, just, I was I, so scared. I wanted he wouldn't let me do that either. I held on that. that oh, yeah. so <laughs> grip tight. I think Danny wants to be on the show. He, he put in a request, so we'll have to have him on. What? Wait, what? No, he's giving us our time, our timer. Oh, oh. I think wait, he wanted to hop wait, on. Wait, who, who put on a? Danny Duncan. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he put in, so we'll right. have to have him on. Wait, 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 wait. Next week, guys. What's up? I said I'll have my grandma go find him. She's met him a couple times. because they. What, my, actually? My grandma lives in Inglewood. Okay. I, my mom was born and raised there. My sister went to preschool with him. Have you been to Inglewood? Yeah, I literally, I, <laughs> I did a documentary of it because they got hit really bad with Hurricane Ian. Right. So I went down there. That was there just for, a couple months ago. Mm-hmm, yeah, no, I went down there to like check out my family's house, make sure everything was okay. Was it? His shop was like, okay. The billboard got completely destroyed, but <laughs> the, the car was still on top yep. somehow. <laughs> okay, I have no idea. Wait, are you being serious? This dude put in a request. Maybe I don't know. There was some Dan. It, it's, the name was similar. Maybe someone's messing with us because you can put Ma- it. In, you I can put any like, name. You can put any uh, name. Any name you want. No, nah, I put Danny Duncan. I was like, this guy. Like, I yo, imagine Danny Duncan, Duncan wants to be on the illest podcast. That'd be nuts. I, I don't know. Someone's probably messing with me. I don't even know it, who it, he is. He's a he's a YouTuber. He does oh, you a lot know? of crazy things. No, he's awesome. He's so funny. He's got. Dude, I I saw this video of his where he like kept on jumping. Like, where he had a school bus. He was like picking people up and he was like, oh, it's the Fortnite bus. Yeah, Do you remember I, that? Yeah. 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 I don't fully remember because it was a couple. It was, it was a couple of years yeah, ago. Yeah, but yeah. I'm like, yeah, this video is so funny. Yeah, they're so good. <laughs> I don't know. This is. So. <laughs> I think it's I, I it's think a YouTuber. I think he's I've been pranked. Funny. <laughs> I think I've been pranked. Yeah, you got pranked. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's actually Danny. Du- we scheduled Danny Duncan walks in through the door. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that'd be crazy. Um, but how, how long do we have left? You uh, say? Well, three and a half minutes. Three and a half minutes. Um, so to wrap it up, is there like any like advice you would give to like? people that are kind of like in your position where they have a dream that they want to follow but they're like trying to like be like okay i gotta go get a degree that's like in something sufficient right so like yeah i I think i think everybody's just got to find their balance uh, and that's different depending on who you are i think a lot of people get especially in my major a lot of people get really really wrapped up in in grades and you know gpas and like will i get into the program i want to get into and i think if you're going to have that mindset which is nice because it kind of like, you know, gets you to you know get on your shit. Mm-hmm. Um, 
Sorry, you gotta bleep that. No, <laughs> I'm not the only one who cursed this episode. <laughs> no, you're fine. Um, but at the same time, you're in college. If you want to be a doctor, you're in college for a long time. But even if you don't, you're in college for four years. Like that's that's a long time, and to have that mindset for four years is, I think that's really damaging. So I just try to, you know, put on a smile all the time. Um, you know, if you get a bad grade, you better get a bad grade. It's not yeah. the end of the world. Work better for it next time. Uh, I just really just try to enjoy with what you're doing. You're only on this you're only on this planet for a finite number of years, and like I mentioned earlier with the cliff jumping thing, you got to make the most of it, um, or else you'll you'll find yourself in your deathbed at 85 years old in the blink of an eye and say I didn't take mm-hmm. any risks, and you know you live a life of of a nine to five boredom and you mm-hmm. know kind of never do anything else. Don't, don't blink by Kenny Chesney is a great example of it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's kind it's kind of like why I decided to change from the engineering field to yeah. this. Because it's like that that was the goal. That, that was always the goal, engineering. But then throughout high school, while I was doing all this, like four years of engineering in high school, I was like also, also editing my fun videos. And I'm like, maybe I want to do this. But it was like, okay, let me go into college undecided. I'm not going to go to a college with a major. Right. I go in here, I, I take like two, it took me two semesters before I like declared. Mm-hmm. But then I finally declared and I'm like, okay, I'm happy. And then last year we started doing all this crazy yeah. stuff. And I'm just like, I'm so glad I went down yeah. this route where I would have been thinking, like, I don't know what the future holds. I don't know right. what, like, job I'll have. I and I think that's great. I don't think anyone should know what the future holds. Yeah. Like, that's no fun if you, you have everything planned yeah. out. Like, just, you know, kind of take yeah. things as they come, uh, adapt, and, you know, I, I think you'll never be unsatisfied. If you if you know, like, what's going to happen in the next six years, it's like, yeah, that's no fun. It, it's kind of boring yeah. if you know what's going to happen. Exactly. Yeah. But as you guys know like like we're talking in this episode and we've talked in every single episode like just like basically this season's been about self improvement and like just working on yourself and doing everything that you want to do so guys thank you for watching Ian thank you for coming on absolutely it's a pleasure to be here like, like I love having Ian on man it's so amazing <laughs> thank Good. you guys for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe check out the merch as well like if you like anything pick it up come awesome. on right there. That's it's the, listen, official right? it's the merch. hottest merch in the game alright thanks all for watching all right. bye